everyone, welcome to QDesign, I'm Janine and in today's tutorial this is a split screen tutorial, uh, filter reality tutorial because many of you want to know how you can create this on your own and it's pretty simple and you see the effect right here and yeah, I don't want to talk uh, so much so let's start Okay, let's start. And before we start, I just want to show you um, the filter I created. So this is the filter and this filter is based on the beauty filter. But in the beauty filter, I don't use the face deformation pack or a 3D model. So this is uh, the next step. So you really see the difference later between the real reality and filter so this is a real Boop. and you see i um, have this face tracker direction light all of these things and layers are in this null object called filter this is not necessary but it really helps to organize your filter so this is a uh, the whole filter here are the whole patches again if you want to know how to create the real beauty aesthetic with a whitening your teeth a different color eye colors to lighten your eye color and so on and so on uh, just watch this video up here and now we start with um, the split screen and this is pretty simple you just need to make sure you add canvas call this one one um, real for example so we know okay this is filter this is real and then add to this canvas a rectangle it's important to create the canvas first because if not the rectangle it could be possible that the rectangle goes into your filter and um, that could mix up uh, your whole scene so make sure you create a canvas where you can place the rectangle this rectangle we call this real so we know exactly what we're talking about and then make sure that the width and height is filled fill the whole screen and of course we need a new material so go to material new material double click real so this material shows up here and go to flat Boop. perfect but we want to make sure that we just see the whole canvas and not the 3d uh, model um, before that so you don't need this we want to make sure that it looks like this so go in your real material advanced render options and user depth test and it's gone voila just in case this one too but we will test it later now just want to make sure you see me hello now um, we need a camera texture in this case i already had a camera texture included in my filter so if not make sure you go to if you don't see this camera texture no make sure you hit the plus sign it would be right here and then you have the camera texture in your texture go right here voila now we need a mixer mix sorry a mix patch and link this with a mix mix patch and we go to our real material go to our texture and add this to our texture so when i now uh, go to visibility and click again now you see the whole screen is just the canvas so in this case the camera texture is the real texture you see if you work with your um, device and now you see the real texture but we want to make sure that we just uh, be, we split the screen off and for this you create an alpha mask you see this mask right here 
in Photoshop. You can, of course, use uh, Create in any app you work with. And this is just a white rectangle. It's, it's not important that this is a square because this will fit perfectly uh, in the rectangle, but you have to make sure in this case, if you want to, you can of course create also a circle or different shapes, but you have to make sure that export this rectangle as PNG so you have this transparency side. Then the next step is, of course, in this case, add the material to your scene. Now you see it's transparent and white. And drag and drop. And now you link this one. Oh, sorry, not. Uh, it's also possible, but uh, it's about the alpha channel. So that the alpha channel, so what you see right here is white, disappear here. So you really just see one side, but it's working. And the effect would be more interesting if you also add a LUT to it, to the filter side. But you see the difference right now. But this little line, this um, I want this uh, seamless, uh, so you don't see this uh, black line right here. And we're, I just figured out, I don't know how this works, but when you go to smooth step, this patch right here, and add this to edge, and then up here, it disappears, but then you can go to 0 0.01 and the edge seems to be seamless. Yeah. And that's it. Pretty simple and uh, I think you will have a lot of fun with this. A kind of split screen filter technique. Please let me know uh, on Instagram if you create with this tutorial a filter and of course if you have any questions please Ding. let me know give this uh, tutorial a thumbs up and yes tell this everyone who wants to know this enjoy the process bye bye <laughs>